Your boy <laughs> got so much shit. You can say I got diarrhea today, baby. Bro, what are you talking about, man? There's so much shit. Your boy's gonna need to flush the toilet. What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Solid Women. Today we are going to go over this week's. No, we're not doing what this week's. What this week's low key brand unboxing. I wish I could do these every week because this is by far my favorite series on the channel. Now I'm not gonna lie. Normally these videos do not get nearly as many views as my regular videos. However, my last one got like 50,000 for some reason. Normally these videos usually hit like 20 to 25k. And the reason for that is because they're not as hype, right? The masses may not like this stuff, but a lot of the true streetwear enthusiasts, such as myself, love a lot of these low key brands. And I think just in general people that may not be exposed to these brands normally like it because they see that there are a bunch of other brands doing dope shit Now that being said if you guys like these low-key brand unboxings Please take a second to hit that like button down below the biggest reason I'm doing this one so soon as you guys know normally don't text me I'm trying to have a heart-to-heart -heart with my subscribers Anyways, the reason that I'm doing this one so soon is because the last one did so well that I just wanted to make another one And I, like I said, I enjoy making these these don't make me money a lot of the other videos I'm able to make money on because when I buy Supreme obviously it holds its value so I get money from the video I can resell it on Robitussin and Poppy where I do resell sometimes like low-key stuff as well so if you guys want to buy anything you ever see in any of my videos make sure you follow Robitussin and Poppy but anyways in general usually I lose money on these unboxings but I still buy the stuff even though I don't end up using all of it and the main reason for that is because I'll buy things just that I feel like should be shown off that more people should see and that I want you guys to recognize and I want you guys to like be aware of. So please, if you guys like these unboxings, please take a second to hit that like button down below. I guess to use a reference that a lot of you guys liked in my last live cop, which by the way, it was doing really good and then I had to delete it because I actually had my order number in it and who knows, maybe my order will get canceled. I guess either way, it was a shitty ass order. And obviously after re-uploading, it didn't do it as well, but it still got a lot of love and a lot of you guys really liked the porn reference that I made. So to reference this to pornography, right, the low key brands are like the porn stars that aren't as known, you know, like they're on the come up. And there's really like two ways that they can go. Like they can either maybe get some like sexually transmitted disease and then kind of fall off and no longer do porn. Or they can really shine and become great like, you know, Mia Khalifa. Or if you guys don't like her, I mean, even Riley Reid had a huge glow up season. Obviously, there are a lot of like low key porn stars that get into the game. They have some good videos, but only a select few really rise to the top. And I feel like these are the brands that have the potential to become a Riley Reid, a Mia Khalifa, a Layla Star. A Mia Miley, Ava, Ad you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, enough jibber jabbing, enough jibber drawing. Let's get into these videos. Uh, I don't even know where to start. I guess it is only right that we start off with a brand that a lot of you guys have shown love to and a brand that has continued to show me love, send me product, and I really do appreciate them because their product is fucking insane. And that brand is YT Mother G. Right here you have a denim jacket, patchwork little denim jacket right here, super filthy. As you can see, YTG. I just must credit them. Their quality has seriously increased like 70 million times. But if you look at the stuff they did back then compared to right now, like they have probably one of the biggest glow up seasons. They are definitely on their way to becoming a Riley Reed. I love the wash, it's just an amazing piece. I love a lot of the little patchwork stuff they're doing. If you guys do not follow me on Instagram, change your life. My Instagram is at the start of the T-H-E, S-T-A-R-R-L-I-F-E. I'm gonna leave a little picture on the screen and a link down in the description. But I posted a picture of the corduroy patchwork they did. They also posted a picture of Justin Timberlake wearing it, but he's not as good looking as me. So, I mean, pff, fuck him. And on top of that, like his voice is not as good as mine. Like just listen to these vocals. Yeah. Got me feeling emotion. Oh, yeah. Damn. Damn, boy. Damn, boy. He's thick, boy. That's a thick ass boy. Damn. Ba -ba! It's not good. Okay, so right here we have what seems to be like a little rayon and maybe a silk shirt. Oh, I do remember this piece. This piece is filthy. So if you look right here, uh, you have what looks like the scene from The Last Samurai. Why do they have Tom Cruise be The Last Samurai? Tom Cruise? As The Last Samurai? Um, super filthy piece, as you can see. I love the colors. I love this kind of like abstract. I thought it was uh, more of like a clear image, but it looks like some kind of like uh, abstract painting, something that, you know, Bob Ross would create. Everything's nice here. Shout out Bob Ross, a true OG in the game. Now, moving on. Ooh, 
corduroy. Also, YTG, I'm loving these bags. Oh, bro, you are not telling me YTG is not on the come up, baby. Look at this. I love this piece. I love the patchwork corduroy, and they have some super sick pieces coming soon that I am praying to the heavens above they send to me so that way we can show it off on the channel again. YTG is killing it. Of course, links to YTG and all of the brands that I show off in this video will be down in the description. Okay, so another brand that we are showing off today is Minimal. Now, Minimal is a brand that basically makes affordable but still like stylish and on trend denim. And I'm not gonna lie to you, the quality of their denim is surprisingly good. I'm not even gonna bullshit you. This is not a sponsored video. They did send me some pants for an Instagram post. I was not required to show this off, but the quality of their pants is really fucking good and I just want to take a quick second to like shout them out because I was super impressed with the quality of their pants, especially for the price point. Um, there's these denims right here. These are a little bit more rocker vibes, you dig? You got these like kind of Basquiat drawings right here. These super clean metal buttons, they do come with replaceable buttons on most of the denim and uh, like pantalones as well. You have these, which I have not done a picture in, but I kind of want to make a crazy photo in these. I really liked all these little like minimal buttons, like all these super, minimal, <laughs> I didn't even mean to like have that little wordplay. And then these are by far my all time favorite. I've actually been wearing these a lot. These are some cargos and they're made of like a true cargo material. So if you look on this fabric, you'll see these little cross hatches. This is made of a true like army pant material. A lot of brands that will make cargos or army pant won't do that. I was thoroughly impressed, especially since those other brands are charging like double the price. I cannot recommend these pants enough. I believe my code is star 10, which I will leave that on the screen and down in the description under the minimal website. If you guys want to cop any minimal, definitely use that code. You guys will get 10% off and they have a plethora of goods. Hopefully they still have those cargos because those are by far my favorite things that I've, like they're one of my favorite pairs of pants period. All right, next up we have some Stray Rats goods right here. Uh, these are the Stray Rats, Stray, Stray Rats shorts. You have the Stray Rats arc logo uh, stacked on top of each other. I actually have the sweatpants in these. Um, these are like a lighter weight short. They're not like a sweat short, but they're still super dope. I love the colorway on these. Then what did I get? Oh, I got the other shorts. These ones are super sick. I feel like the stack arc logo sold out first, but I like these ones better than Stray Rats with this cool like little graphic right here. Looks like something from Tremors. And then I just got some basic clean all black socks with the Stray Rats right there. Now, speaking of rodents, or I, I mean, I guess they're probably not really considered rodents, but I got to show off a brand that was sent to me by the boy, a pack that was dropped off by Max Miller himself, the man, the myth, the legend. Now he has a brand, Icy Rabbit. I posted a picture actually on my Instagram showing off this brand as well. Huge love to him, man. He is definitely the homie. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. My man just sent me a fucking gold mine of goods. First up we have, is this is hoodie or sweatpants? Oh my God. Before I even open it up, I just need to say, this is super soft. You have some little Icy Rabbit graphics right here. Old man with the carrot chasing this dude. We got the world around his mother neck. Oh, I think this is a collaboration with Icy Rabbit and Worldwide Youth. I just realized that that's super dope to see both those brands collaborate. Obviously, Max is the homie. Dylan's the homie. Is this also a Worldwide Youth piece right here? It has the same world and the strike tee, but it also has an Icy Rabbit uh, tag on it. Bam, right there. As you can see, you got that striped tee, you got the little contrasting neck, Icy Rabbit on the neck region. Next up, we got this graphic right here, an Icy Rabbit original with the diamonds in the eyes. Random fact, my birthstone is a diamond. I kind of wish he would have sent me a hoodie with this graphic, but regardless, super sick piece. Then we got the graphic of the individual holding up the world. This is in pink and it's got a different tag. Once again, I must commend the quality of their products is a one. Damn, I love the quality of these t-shirts. Anyway, um, Icy Rabbit, you got my man with the carrot chain on deck. Another brick in the wall. Icy Rabbit once again. Now last but not least. Oh shit, this is crazy. What the fuck? Okay, so I don't know how he did this. Green print or is this like an actual like leather? I think this is like an actual leather fabric. This is crazy. So Worldwide Youth, Icy Rabbit, once again, you have this whole freaking like hood region. This is nutty. How the fuck did they do this? I don't know if he's a Crip or Grove Street. I'm not quite sure what he banging, but nonetheless, super filthy piece, super sick hoodie. Now a crowd favorite from my last unboxing was definitely the Vandy shorts that I'm actually currently wearing. Ugh. Yeah, you see him, come on. That's a thick ass bar! And don't sleep on these legs. I've been hitting leg day. We don't skip leg day. But of course, when Vandy updated the site, dropped the Chanel shorts, your boy had to cop. Look at. 
one eternity later. Y'all still here? Okay, anyways, uh, moving on. Yeah, these right here are so freaking cozy. Obviously, as you can see, I got the Louis Vuitton ones. Now I got the Chanel ones, double C's all over my clothes. And your boy also copped the Chanel Vandy Forces. I actually got these on Grailed. He's designed several different ones. He did the Chanel strap that doesn't have the double C's, and then he did the Chanel's that does have the double C's. The first place I believe I saw these were, I think, on Billie Eilish. She's got white ones and these crazy ones, but nonetheless, these right here are so fucking sick. Now, honestly, Vandy is probably one of my favorite individuals that do like designer flips. Another really dope individual that does some cool designer flips is Potato or Imran Potato. These right here go crazy, the Louis Vuitton ice trays. You already know we got like three other pairs for Robotess and Poppy, I'm telling y'all. And don't even think that we did not get the Teletubbies. As you guys know, we got Dipsy with the dipstick or the uh, dildo on top, and then we got Lala. Look at the LV. Ooh. So dumb. When Shorty comes over to your house, look at Dipsy's cheeks just blushing. You don't think Shorty's gonna come over and see the Louis Vuitton Teletubby set and like, come on. Do not sleep on the Louis Vuitton Teletubby. Stop playing. I might get to third base only because I got the Murakami flowers, so like maybe. Anyways, moving on. I believe this is a pack from my dear friend Christian Ronaldo, AKA Frugal Aesthetic from the Respect Women Drop. You already know we had to cop because we respect women. I guess it's the perfect time to show this off right after I was talking about shorty popping pussy. Uh, anyways, respect women. Always respect women right there. Good times make better memories. I gotta say, real quick, first of all, definitely support the homie, support the movement. I love that he's doing something positive with his platform. Also, if you are not subscribed to him, change your fucking life. Probably one of the funniest individuals here on YouTube. I got a lot of love for Christian. I've met him in person, and I will say that Christian, you can tell, is a good, solid, genuine guy, and so I got a lot of respect for him as a person and a creator. We are getting down to the nitty gritty. So, you guys know I'm a huge fan of Bronze 56K, so your boy had to cop this rayon right here. I thought this was a super good idea. I thought it was a super cool play on like normal graphics. It reminds me of something Stop Cart would do, but like all these are obviously wrecked. They're destroyed cars, they're crash cars. You got the McLaren right here. The quality is amazing. Bronze 56K is a super dope skate brand. If you guys do not know about them, they are, they kind of specialize in skateboard hardware. If you guys don't know me, I have an affinity for skate clothing because I grew up BMXing. Skater style was always like way cooler than BMX style. I don't know. BMXers here in Washington are kind of different, but that being said, you have all these wrecked vehicles right here, which I recently experienced. And trust me, I was looking just like homie right here. I might make a vlog about that I may not but definitely a super dope button-up and one that I'm happy to add to the personal collection now moving on now due to me not having the black blade or not knowing where it's currently located we're gonna have to use this little miniature knife that I don't know what the I don't even know if this is gonna be able to open these boxes this looks like a miniature prison sh pr 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 prison shank now a low-key brand that I haven't really shown off but one that I do got a lot of respect for and I just I feel like I always miss the drops that I enjoy. Ooh, actually, before showing this off, since we were just talking about BMX, I did also get something from Colt. For those of you guys that do not know, if you BMX, you probably know who Colt is, but... Ugh, Jesus Christ, what kind of fucking tape is this? It's like, I know I can get in the pack right now, but I just want to rip this tape just because, like... I don't know, I just feel like it was challenging me. Okay, moving on. We have some yellow Colt smiley or sad socks. It says not happy that has Colt right there. I just wanted some nice yellow bright socks. We have a plethora of uh, stickers. Oh my God, geez, they blessed it with the sticks. Look at all these stickers, dude. Oh my God, that smells heavenly. Now I got an air freshener too to really, you know what I'm saying, get shorty wet when she sees the Louis Vuitton Teletubbies, Dipsy and Lala flexing next to the smiley flower. You already, she's gonna smell that cold BMX shit and know that like, although I may have, <coughs> damn, I just hot boxed it with the cold uh, air freshener, but she's gonna see that sensitive side of me, but she's gonna smell the man inside of me when she smells that Colt air freshener. The main thing that uh, I had to cop from Colt were these right here. As you guys know, I got the FTP bike. Colt recently afterwards, these sadly sold out, but they do have some other sick valve caps that they drop all the time, so go check them out. Like I said, links to everything I showed off today will be in the description down below, but we got some little middle finger valve caps, which if you guys know FTP, these are like the perfect valve caps to have for an FTP, FTP Colt bike. Okay, so moving into the package that I rudely interrupted, we got foul play. I simply just got a water bottle for the gym. I just, I don't know. Something simple, something clean, something light. Just had to cop it. Had to show some love because I've been wanting to show off 
foul play for quite some time. Now, we, I believe we only got two packs left, baby. Since we got another box, let's use this weak-ass prison shank to, uh... Dude, I don't even know if this would hurt someone in prison. Like, do you... You guys see the struggle? Now, this has 424 all over it, proudly displayed. However, this is not from 424. This is from... Is Iranian print joggers. Uh, Pariah Farzane. Ooh, I got some 424 pins. That's fucking dope. 424 pins right there. Thank you. That's super sick. But I got these pants from Pariah Farzane. The quality is already perfect. I'm loving them like McDonald's. This is a size medium, which has a 30 waist, so hopefully it does fit me. It looks like it's shout. I love this print. Oh my God. I was really worried the quality was gonna suck. It has, I forget what this is called because I'm an uncultured swine and I'm just a low class citizen. Um, but it's got that thing where it like, stitches down the center to give it kind of like a nice tailored look it does have zip pockets i wish it would just have normal pockets but you know whatever i guess this is good for when you're traveling so that way it's harder to pick pick pocket pocket pick you pick your pocket eating peanuts pocket, i don't know i was trying to make a quick tongue twister but yeah super sick love this graphic i think i may have to get them tailored due to length i mean your boy is a legal midget but um these are looking super sexy and i already know when i rock these bitches they gonna look crazy and then last but not least is a pack we already unboxed and it's from Mark Neuer. Now, I got this because I wanted to talk about a lot of designer brands basically like making shit that is like on trend. Like for example, the Prism Louis Vuitton stuff. I think it's really dope, but let's be real. That shit's like two, $3,000 and you can literally get the exact same look from Mark Neuer. Super filthy. This is like actually like, this isn't just like a weak print. Like this is actually like a part of the fabric or a part of the material. The quality is on point. You have like the iridescent oil spill little metal accents right there. That being said, this is not super expensive to make. So if you're going to buy like a Louis Vuitton side bag and you're thinking about copying this one, I'm not saying don't because I've definitely been tempted. And like in terms of what's worth your money in the long run, I would probably say the leather. And I just think the leather is also a little bit more timeless. But hey, that's just me and I'm a stupid uncultured swine. So who cares about what I got to say about it? You dig? Now that is everything for this low key brand unboxing. I've already been filming for 40 freaking minutes. So hopefully I can cut this down to like 20 minutes. If you guys want to see more low key brand unboxings, like I said at the beginning of this video, smash that like button down below. I will gladly make more of these. I love showing off a little more low key brands, brands that aren't quite as hype, but are, you know, developing a little bit of a following and just getting a little bit more name recognition because they definitely do deserve it check out the links below if you want to check out any of these brands i will try to leave links to all of the product if the product is sold out i will try to leave links to the social media and while you're talking about following people's social medias or checking out social medias the top link in the description will be a link to my instagram the star life t she s t a r r l i f e this can be somewhere on the screen and the description down below and then of course there will be a link to my resale page, Robotist and Poppy, where you can buy some of these goods. Uh, some of them will probably not be sold, but eventually I end up selling everything that comes into my possession after I wear it a couple times. So make sure you follow Robotist and Poppy. Thank you guys so much. I got to drive all the way to fucking Portland now, which is going to be a two hour and 40 minute drive. Fuck. Hopefully you guys smashed that like button already. If you guys did not smash the like button, I don't know what to tell you. I showed off Louis Vuitton Teletubbies. How are you not hitting that like button? I showed off brands that have rodents as mascots, such as Stray Rats, Icy Rabbit. I showed off Mark Neuer, which uh, is often known for their pieces that are very Jabot inspired. BMX brands, skate brands, like such a wide plethora of product. If you guys haven't hit that fucking like button yet, I really just think there's nothing I can ever do to make you like it. Like, what can I do? I'm just kidding. I'm not really that worked up. But anyways, I love you guys. Appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. And as always, keep living the Peace the fuck out. Wow, perfect time for someone to be FaceTiming me. Woohoo! FaceTime. Ah, peace.